All right, guys, this week's video, I am back home in my home port here. I'll show you. Here's Milwaukee. It is a beautiful, calm day. And what I'm here to try to do is show you how we can go ahead and catch some brown trout or some steelhead or lake trout all up and down this shallow water, untraditionally, meaning just casting with spinning rods. What we're going to do is use the live scope. We're just going to hunt down fish and try to cast them. We might go up to the power plant or discharge and fish some spawn. I'm not sure. It's 12 o'clock right now. It's the middle of the day. I've got an afternoon just to try to get out here. Just got back from Green Bay. So I just wanted to explore, maybe go catch some fresh cohos if I can catch some cohos. We'll see. But I just want to go over my standard rig that I'm using. Okay. I'm using the new Alumix 2000 this is a pc fun reel you've seen me use a lot of the carbon x's the carbon x2 my favorite reel that i've used the 2000 and 3000 series now i've had a chance to use this for the last week and i really really like this new reel by pc fun it's the lumex it's got the 10 ball bearings it's got the aluminum frame 621 gear ratio super smooth drag and priced really well guys so if you haven't bought a new reel yet and you're looking at getting one try the 2000 Alumex use my code eh15 save 15 percent in the link below i've also got that paired on a lot of guys always ask me well, what what kind of rods are you using or what's your favorite rod definitely like the new trica spinning rods guys they are super sensitive all the way from the tip all the way down they are super light made of a whole different type of composite it has no glass in it so it's just crazy light and sensitive so you can just feel the bottom you can feel any little nips or bites check out the trica rods they are awesome so um and i'm just going to be using this is like the bait I could use all year long from spring, summer, and fall. And that is just a swim jig head, a 3A ounce. And look at, see my hook starting to bend a little bit? Let's try to bend that back a little bit. There we go. Bend that hook back a little bit. 3A ounce jig head, four inch plastic, you know, like a Kalins. And I've got that uh, spooled up 10 pound uh, Power Pro. I really like 10 pound Power Pro. Pro, it's super resistant. Um, and it just works for me for many, many years. So that's my standard rig for the jig and the plastic. I like a jig and a plastic is probably my all around go-to bait that will catch them. The other bait that I really like sometimes when they just, the water's clear like this, you need a faster reaction bait. That's why guys this time of the year do really good trolling spoons. So a jigging spoon will usually work good for cohos or for uh, brown trout or even lake trout. And I'm gonna be using either a 3 8 ounce, a uh, half ounce. If I go out deep, I might use a one ounce. Just depends where I'm fishing today. I've got that on 12 pound test fluorocarbon leader and 10 pound braid and just a medium action rod. But that's one of our hot spoons. Check them out. We appreciate it. They work great for everything. Walleyes, brown trout, everything eats a jigging spoon, guys. Just kind of like everything eats a paddle tail or swim bait. So. All right, well, we're gonna get to stop the talking and just start cruising around. And sometimes I look around for, you know, maybe an hour or two. And if I'm not seeing fish, I just keep moving, keep moving. I've got a full tank of gas and uh, a nice calm day. So these can actually be some of the tougher days when it's flat, calm, but, but I like it. Great weather, spring's finally here. If I catch a couple fish, I'll be happy. Here we go. We got one, we got one bite, we got one bite. Sorry guys, camera's all crooked. We are hooked up, got ourselves a little brown trout. We're at the discharge and I'm just fishing spawn. Right over the side, I'll show you this fish. Not a big one, but lot, lots of these fish that you can catch and a lot of guys ask me personally, I don't think they're that good of fish to eat, but if I had to eat one and smoke one, it would be this size, these smaller silver ones. Good sign, good sign. Just gonna let him go. Bring him over to the side. 
Oh. All right, fish number one. Nice little brownie. They cannot resist the spawn, guys. There he is, pretty fish. On a coho, yes. Is that a coho? Yes, nice coho. Yes, that's what we want. It's a nice coho for dinner. Loosen up the drag, let them jump, get the nets. Let's go. Okay, how are we gonna screw this up? Tighten the drag back up. We got a nice coho on. Come here. All right, a little brown, and a little coho. Take it. Oh, a lure. Let's get my lure back. Oh, come on, get out. Lure back, coho in. Once again, it's constant chaos. And I apologize, but that's just being a nutshell. And that right there is going to be dinner, guys. Fresh coho. All right, I'm gonna bleed them out, put them on ice, but it's a nice, nice fish. We'll take it. Dinner. I need a couple cohosts to feed the family. One isn't gonna do it, so let's see if we can get another one. Be a coho, be a coho, be a coho, fighting like a coho. Yes, it's another nice coho. Oh, he's going to the back. No, 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 he just wrapped into my other line. Oh shit, we're gonna have issues here. What else would you expect from a coho? It's got me wrapped in the other line, guys. I got a, just a serious tangle. What happens when Captain Potato tries to put two lines out? Put two lines out. Now you got a mess. Let's see if I can get a little lucky here. Let's see if I can get a little lucky. There we go. Coho number two. We've got dinner. We have got dinner. Coho number two. And he's all wrapped up. I like it though. Whoa! Maybe that'll help actually get him untangled. All right, well, stay still. There we go. Nice fish. We'll take it. Dinner. We got one in the back. We got one in the back. Coho. We got a coho right here. Right here. Look at this. He's going nuts. Just on the bonus drop. Yep, just left it down there. Look at that. We got another coho. We're going to take him. If I can flip him in. Flip them in, the old flipper -ski. We got them. Oh, you know what? I'm doing such a lousy job of videoing. But there he is, coho number three. I apologize. Just put out an extra rod in the back. Let it sit down. Call that just the extra bonus rod. Drop it down to the bottom, reel it up a couple cranks on the spawn. There he is, fish number three. Two more and I'm, I've got my limit and I'm done. Beautiful day, middle of the day, didn't even get out here. So what I might do is actually just catch my one more fish so I have four cohos, then just go play around, see if I can catch some browns or go cast. All right guys, so again, just a two-way swivel, little sinker, eight pound test. Just showing you how I drop it down with spawn. 
you're gonna come out here and jig really anytime in March, April, really good time, even in May at times, to have spawn out, and then back again in September, October, November. But drop down to the bottom, reel it up a couple cranks. So I'm not always fishing it on the bottom. You can see I probably, it's 25 feet. I probably got it down 15 to 20 feet. So just leave it sit there and wait up front and you'll just see the fish will be on and just reel them in. That's it. Easy ways to catch you guys fish. Very, very. That's my limit coho. I think it is. No, it's probably a brown. Watch it be a brown. I went to lighter line. Thought I could maybe trick a coho. And nope, I got a nice brown on. Fun though. And that's fishing them up. Four pound test I put on, guys. Four pound test. You could see the fish down there. Clear water. Flat calm. I didn't have six pound, which I would have normally went with, so I went with four pound. Just went with a split shot and four pound test. Not that big, but they fight pretty hard. Show you guys this fish real quick. It's right here. Oh, there he goes. Come on. Right. It's another little three pounder, but man, they fight. All right, let's see if I can do this. One hand on the GoPro, one hand on the little trout. Let's see here. Can we get her done? Getting her done. Another nice coho. Another nice coho, guys. Look at this. Beat down. We got our fish in there. I'm just letting this one go. See you later. Keep fishing with that same spawn bag. There we go. Fighting like a brown. Cohos usually go nuts when you hook them. Yep, brownie. Little brown. Right now I'm just fishing one rod, one rod, because I see, I'll show you, I see a decent amount of fish down there. There's some fish right now. You can see there's one coming up right now. A couple of fish on the bottom. So I'm just going to fish one rod for now. See if I can get my limit. I might throw that other one back down on the bottom, but water's super clear, super calm. And these are a fun fish to catch jigging. I mean, not a giant fish, but you got a shot at catching a, a really big one. I'm just going to unhook this guy and let him go. Another little three pound brown, guys. We call those little winter browns. Oh my God. I got a, I got a hot mess here, guys. What do I got going on here? Come on, get off there. Oh my goodness. Get out of there. No. Oh, come on. How is this caught in here right now? How does this happen? Okay, it's, I, I am trying to unwrap this nice coho I got. All right, there we go. <clears throat> Captain Potato, guys. Captain Potato. Here we go. And he's under the boat right now. 
Nice fish underneath the boat. It's jumping right there. We're gonna keep this. This is our fifth coho. The chaos fish. We're gonna keep, oh, no, 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 no. Stay out of there. Get your rod out of the water, Captain Potato. And maybe you won't have to deal with that. No, it's a brown trout. I wanted to keep one more coho. That's all right. Good fighter. Check out that drag. The new PC Fun Lumex there. They're aluminum. Great drags. Great for the Great Lakes and walleyes and everything. Here it comes. Not a big one, but a nice little mix of brown trout and brown trout and coho. Alright, buddy, I'm just gonna unhook you. Just like this. I'm just gonna take the hook, come on. Stay still, stay still. Pop it out, and there he goes on the spawn bag. All right, guys, so we are going to wrap it up here. Caught some fish on a split shot, caught them on a two-way swivel, uh, caught a couple jigging, but uh, some smaller browns, some cohos, but just finesse ways. You don't always have to troll if you're going to come out on the Great Lakes, even though 95% of all your other fishermen and charter captains, they come out here and troll, and it's effective. But I just want to show you guys, you can come out here and also have some fun, do some jigging, do some bait fishing, and it's a lot of fun catching these cohos and browns, even the small ones on light tackle. So hopefully you enjoyed this week's video. Finesse fishing cohos in the spring. I hope you like it. Do me a favor, leave me a comment. What is your favorite way to cook cohos? You like the cedar plank? Do you like to grill them? You like to bake them? You like to blacken them? Let me know in the comments. We'll try to do some catch and cooks as well. If you want to see me do a, a catch and cook, let me know. I'll do that as well. Thanks for watching this week's video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys.